taste of this cheese, and you might be tempted to say, holy cow. Moraka tells us why. Seven times a day, the Benedictine nuns of the Abbey of Regina Laudis gather for prayer and the singing of the psalms. This is their way of communing with the Lord. So is the work they do in this cloistered community in the Connecticut town of, wait for it, Bethlehem. Although she might deny it, the big cheese among the 38 sisters is Mother Noella, a revered international authority on traditional cheese making. A 2002 PBS documentary dubbed her the cheese nun. Did you eat a lot of cheese growing up? Uh, no, we didn't. I think we probably had provolone. Born Martha Marcelino, she entered the Abbey in 1973. I was a college dropout. I went to Sarah Lawrence. I went there because it was the most radical school in the country. I didn't even know cows before I came here. So when you join an abbey, you get to try many things you never would have done. Mm -hmm. And I happened to fall in love with a cow named Sheba and then learned to make cheese. Today, the dairy that began with Sheba's arrival in 1975 helps the abbey remain self-sustaining. The big red one is called Red Wing Lily. That's the cow I milk. Sister Jean-Paul serves the cows their breakfast and vice versa. Every morning, I take my cup of coffee to my cow and I squirt milk straight into the coffee. Can you can do that? You can do that, so I yeah. I can grab a cup of coffee and put it right under the udder. And... That's what I do. Ch -ch -ch. And you know, and it makes it foamy. So it's like a, you call like it. Like a cappuccino. Like, yeah, we, the cow pacino. Oh my God, that is so I know, a cow pacino. In 1977, Mother Noella started making raw milk cheese, but her early efforts didn't quite slice it, so she prayed for a teacher. I was praying for an old French woman to teach me, but a young one came, and her grandmother taught her how to make this cheese. So, in a sense, yes. your prayers were answered. Ex very oh, much they were so. definitely answered. What's made here is called Bethlehem cheese. This is the most beautiful mold right there. Wheels of it age in the Abbey's tiny cheese cellar. And this right now is a young cheese made only four days ago. So you wouldn't want to eat this now. It would be rubbery. And this it's the science behind cheese making that excites Mother Noella, who in the late 80s earned her PhD in microbiology from the University of Connecticut. What grew on here is this white powder and that's called Geotricum candidum, mm -hmm. and I did my doctorate on that. A Fulbright scholarship then took her to France, where she explored the cheese caves of Auvergne and became an expert on how different fungi changed the consistency and flavor of cheese. You can touch it. The, okay, so wait. The, see how smooth that is? It is. It's, it's silky. Yes, and you should see what that looks like under a microscope. Right. So we're looking at flavor on a microscopic level right now. We are. Love your fungi. Well, thank you. <laughs> Today, younger nuns like Sister Teresa Benedicta and Regina, an intern, learn how to separate the curds. That is wet. Right? That's expelled wet. From the whey. Get nicely swaddled here. Right. And wrap them. Your baby cheeses. I knew that. <laughs> Joking aside, Mother Noella sees in a wheel of cheese a world beyond our own. When I look through a microscope and see the wonder, I see God in those microorganisms. It puts you in touch with God's creation. And for me, it also can be very sacred. Mm -hmm. The motto of Benedictines is work and pray. And for us, our work is also a prayer. <laughs> 